You know what I don't understand? Why is it that every time we have a tragedy, like what happened in Las Vegas, we have people that come out of the woodwork and make up conspiracy theories? Everyone said that there was a shooting from the 32nd floor, and he got a suite. And then people go, well, it doesn't add up. There's nothing. They're still piecing a puzzle together. Do you realize how long it takes to figure it out? I mean, it's amazing to me that these people go around and post lies on the internet, and then they go, oh, this is a corruption by the government, by Trump and the FBI, and 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 it's, you know, caused by this. It's like, really? Okay, so let me ask you something. So is every single disaster a conspiracy theory? Like, okay, Google, back in the day when a blimp, fell from the sky all you have to look up for on youtube is oh the humanity where he goes oh the humanity oh the blimp fell from the sky the humanity i'll say it again and it's like you know and it it was like happened in the 1940s and it killed people and it was a devastating video it's a hard video to watch so is there a conspiracy to that oh okay so any any disaster that happens, you people have to come out there and post a bunch of fear and garbage for stupid people to listen to you. It's just unbelievable. That's how Trump got elected. Because it's just uneducated morons. Just uneducated, dumb people. Okay? They're still piecing a puzzle together. And it's funny because a lot of people who come up with these conspiracy theories are not educated people. They're not even smart people. I feel like all they do all day is do a bunch of marijuana and then they just sit at home and then they start making up stuff. It just... I have a friend who's posting this stuff on Facebook and it's just maddening to me. It's like, how disrespectful can you people be? You know? And then people go, well, this doesn't add up. This doesn't add up. Well, okay, there's a lot of conspiracy theories about O.J. Simpson, about how, um, you know, you have all these people saying, oh, well, you know, O.J. killed his wife, or, oh, he didn't kill his wife, now he, w he was released from prison in Vegas. And it's like, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, there's all these conspiracy theories on that. And then the, and the big one of uh, chemtrails, where people were complaining about how, you know, they put chemicals in the air to make us dumb, or they put fluoride in our water. It's like, how stupid can you people be? The government is not putting fluoride in your water. Why? The thing is, what I what I don't understand about these moronic individuals is, what is their game? What is the point of it? You know? I remember people said stuff about Bill Clinton and, and, and McDonald's, and then he ate a burger, and then all those conspiracy theories stopped because he finally ate McDonald's, and all these people go, oh, they put stuff in our food to make us fat, and they do all. It's like, you people are idiots. Please stop believing everything you read and, and make up all this psychotic nonsense. People are more gullible than religion religious cults, you know? It's just it's so maddening to me. Like, I know people who were there. And, and to say, oh, the government's responsible for it. Really? Okay, let's go down the list. Timothy McVeigh was one of the worst disasters we've ever had in U.S. history. He took a fertilizer bomb and blew up a federal building in Oklahoma City. Okay, let's, let's keep going down the list, shall we? All right, so you have another person named Dylan Wolf who um, Dylan Wolf, who basically was a racist and shot up a church. Then you have another person named Lanza. I think his name was Adam Lanza or whatever. and Or is that his brother? I can't remember. The media got that wrong in the very beginning, and so many people were writing horrible things on his Facebook. I felt bad for that guy. He should get something for the media for getting it wrong because – they made him look like a bad person. And his brother, Lanza, went into Sandy Hook, shot up in elementary school. Then you have Dorner, who one of my friends is a cop, 
and he got shot by Dorner. He went on a merciless rampage, went all over the place shooting people, and then finally he was killed. And then you have um, Elliot Roger, who started posting psychotic videos on YouTube about how women should give him respect that he deserves, and started posting on a bodybuilder form and saying how he wants to bulk up and women don't respect him and he wants respect from women. He comes off very narcissistic. Then he starts, shows off his Audi or BMW or whatever, drives a very nice car, and he's driving around Santa Barbara saying all these psychotic things. And he goes on a rampage and starts stabbing people and and starts shooting people at a bus in Santa Barbara where he's later executed by police. So, and then now you have Paddock. No, let's, let's go back a little bit. And then San Bernardino. These people went into Inland Regional Center in San Bernardino, my hometown, and shot people at like a Christmas party. Shot a bunch of people, innocent people. And I know people there too who got hurt. Then you have this guy who went into San Bernardino again in San Bernardino. A guy goes in with a gun kills his wife who was separated from him and then he shot an innocent little boy and it, and all the teachers and all the heroes that went in and protected those students said he wanted to kill everybody that's what they said which again i know someone that knows the victim of that tragedy and they she is still upset to this day she was an amazing person and then now you have Paddock, who went into a 32nd floor and opened fire with a 308 assault rifle and killed 59 people, wounded over 500. And you want to say that we have a conspiracy theory and that liberals are trying to push an agenda for gun legislation. It's proven that mental illness is a huge problem in this country. Why is it that people can go through a background check and that's it? There's no mental evaluation like there is in Europe. Nobody should be able to own an assault rifle, period. In Vegas, you can legally walk around the machine gun if you wanted to. But it only appeals to white people, basically. So, that's why I want conspiracy theorists to keep their mouth shut. Because you don't know anything. You're blowing everything out of proportion and you don't even know all the details. And then you make up lies and all these speculations and then you think everything's, you know, a conspiracy with the government. Those are all facts that happened in the last 20 years. And then look at Virginia Tech, same thing. Columbine. Columbine High School. Guy went in with a trench coat and had an assault rifle. It's been more than 25 years, and we've had this much mental illness and gun violence in this country. And you want to tell me that it's all planned by the government. And then people say, oh, the government planned 9-11. The thing is, unless you know 100% all the details then you have no right to say anything, okay? Don't you think that by now people would leak this information to WikiLeaks by now, but they haven't? Because it's false. I mean, everything people are saying is false. Now there's a video that emerged, and it shows uh, muzzle flashes coming from a window, and people are speculating that there was a shooter from the 12-story window. People said that there were that they thought there were multiple shooters, and it's possible that the guy used a gun and then reloaded. And then people say, oh, it was caused by Trump, it was caused by the FBI, it was caused by the government. And it just makes you sound like a lunatic. It makes you sound like a psychopath. You are just doing all this speculation and not even knowing the facts. And people tell me all the time, do your research. 
I just gave you a history lesson and you still have the audacity to tell me do your research and that you don't know all the details. You're you're just you just believe the government. You know what I believe is we have a mental illness in this country. That's it. I don't know where people get this mindset, but we have a mental illness in this country. And there are bad people in this country. So don't go up to me and post insensitive things on social media where innocent lives have been lost and innocent people are hurt. It just it makes you sound like a very rude, insane person. I don't know anyone. Actually, that's not true. I know one person. I won't mention his name, but I know one person who is Latino. And that's all I will say. And he was there at that concert. Luckily, he was in the very back and he got out okay. But he said it was the most terrifying thing he's ever witnessed in his life. And he is an extraordinary guy. I've known him my whole life. He's an amazing guy. I mean, I don't know him personally. I never like call him and say, hey, man, how you doing? But I know that guy personally. And um, he was there. And then my um, my brother was telling me, because he works at my dad's company, and there's a girl that works there, and her ex-husband was there as well. He's okay. But then my brother-in-law's brother, really good friend, got shot in the arm, and I saw the x-ray, and oh my god. He, it shattered his arm. And based on that hole, it looked like a 308. And that's what that guy used, was a 308 on a tripod. And he modified it to fully automatic and shot from a window. That's the only way he really could have done that much damage. But could you imagine if he actually had a machine gun? If you had a Browning or an M1, could you imagine how devastating that would be? Just, it would be much, much worse. I know that's hard to say and that's hard to hear because this is the worst shooting in U.S. history. But it's just sad and I'm angry because people are posting this stuff. They don't know all the details. And then also, my brother-in-law's mother, her friend's daughter, is deceased. So it's just insensitive to me that people will go on the internet and claim, well, there's this footage, there's this, and this person said this. I don't believe that people have all the details correctly, or they misheard information, because the thing is, you can't just immediately act on something. You got to listen and you got to understand all the information is coming at one time. And that's the thing. When this is the thing, information is stagnant and it is scarce. I know plenty of news reporters and I've been in the front lines of news before because I shadowed my friends that are news reporters. And I went into a van once, and I don't know if that's like I'm supposed to, but it was a long time ago. But I was in a van, and when you hear the radio chatter, it really is scarce. I mean, a lot of people, all these conspiracy theorists keep saying, well, the cops said this at 1020, and this person said at 1130. The problem is a lot of people are mishearing what they're saying because – there's so much information happening at once. You're not going to be able to process every little aspect of that information. It's scarce. So you're right. The media can get it wrong. And so can, you know, police scanners and whatever else. And when you're listening to a ham radio and the things you see and the stuff I've been through of, you know, the media and news is that they're getting so much information at one time. And then you have people telling them certain things, and it may not all be truthful. And not all of it, you know, can be accurate. A lot of people uh, over-exaggerate things, you know. 
And a lot of people think that's what they heard, or some people just do it for attention. You know, a lot of people, like, uh, do that. And there's one video that the media hasn't talked about, and I'm curious because I want to know if this is a legitimate video or not. And see, that's the thing. When I see something, I don't immediately believe it and go, oh, my God. If that, if they would have done this, then everything would have changed. Because you don't know if what you're seeing is factual or not. So you always, every time you see something, you should always think, you know, I got to get all the details before I can think crucially of this. You know? I mean, think about when you're an investigator and you see all these, all these things that you're seeing. Think about when you're... When you're an investigator and you see like a body of somebody, then you figure out where the bulk bullet came from, how the bullet got there, where did it come from, and was this an act of terror? Was this? There's all these like things you have to think about before you can have a rational thought and go, okay, we know what happened. Think about how long it takes for the DA and CSI and all these people figure out an investigation like this and the FBI and the FBI and all these people like it takes a long time it's like people think that everything takes a day but within a few weeks a couple months they're going to know a lot more and today his girlfriend from the Philippines arrived at LAX and she's in for questioning by you know law enforcement and you know, probably agents from the FBI and such. So, you know, they're going to try and figure that out. And then people go, well, I saw that Facebook page and then it got deleted and whatever else. Okay, well, the thing is, a lot of people say that stuff and it's like, okay, do you not know how it works? It's because <laughs> law enforcement will go into your, they'll get a warrant and then they'll say, okay, well, we got to access that account. And then they take that account, it gets shut down, and they investigate through that account. And I just find it funny how conspiracy theorists will yell out all these things like, like, why was it right when the media reported this person? And then all of a sudden, because like, law enforcement is on it before the media is. That's what people don't understand. The, me the, the government... That's the thing. The The FBI and the police have their ways of getting information. Once they get a warrant of a search warrant and they go through Facebook, they're immediately going to hand it over and go, hey, they got a search warrant. We got to give it to them. So then what happens is that account gets taken down. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it before, like even for like minor things like I've seen, you know, like when I heard about some shooting in like another state, like Louisiana or something. Same thing. I went on that person's Facebook and then within a couple hours it was deleted. So that's what they do. They go in, they take all their information and then they remove it because they don't want it to be, you know, they don't want that in because the, they're having an investigation and they don't want people to access that account and then post a bunch of nonsense or whatever. Like for example, I know the person that knows that woman who got shot in San Bernardino. That's that teacher that helped special needs kids. Her Facebook account is still there. It never moved. But now it says in memoriam on her page because it someone reported it as a deceased person. But her account's still there. And the guy who shot her, his account is still there. It's not deleted. But it's probably deleted now. But, I mean, his account was still there even within all the other things. So, the thing is, when when the, when something gets on an FBI list and it gets this high of attention, they're going to totally look at something and then take it down because it's it's an investigation because now because of what happened it's now in the hands of the government because it's now known as a terrorist crime when you do anything of that magnitude 
the FBI gets involved because now this was a planned, coordinated attack, and it's the worst shooting in U.S. history. So I just get tired of all these speculations and reading all these things, and I just I look at these people and go, they're such imbeciles, and they're so nuts. And they go, man, you believe everything you see on the media? I don't, actually. I don't believe everything I see on the media. But I do believe that a lot of people did get killed in Las Vegas. And I do. And that's the thing. There's a difference between believing in something and and something that's a fact. For example, conspiracy theorists will say something like this. The earth is flat because it's on pillars. And there's a dome over it. No, that's not true. The earth is actually round and there are facts. That's a fact. The earth is round. That's a fact. So the thing I get annoyed with conspiracy theorists is they don't understand the difference between a fact and fiction. You know, I mean, there is a thing that the government actually did called cloud seeding which is some sort of chemical they would put in clouds, which is non-toxic, but it was to help drought. I mean, the thing is, they've even done that for cows. I mean, think about it. A lot of your cows, a lot of your cattle are clones. They've done it to sheep. They've done it to goats. They've done it to cows. They've made clones. So I, I, I don't understand why people like can't think logically and crucially on these matters and it's like it's overwhelming to me and it upsets me because it's very insensitive you have all these innocent beautiful people that have lost their lives three of them weren't even from here they were from canada where which has very strict gun control laws and they come here and then they're victim of again a mass shooting in the United States because we can't do anything about it. I don't get this country. I really don't. Why is it that a guy with a beard can try and blow up a plane and we all take our shoes at the airport, but we've had over 200 mass shootings and we haven't regulated anything. Congress wasn't bought out by the NRA. We would all be okay. It's just sad. And it and it happens all the time. Like and just not too long ago there was a shooting of like seven people and like three people died. And guess what? Not once was it talked about by the media. Not once. But it was in the newspaper. And that's how sad and pathetic it is. That we have become so accustomed to shootings that that shouldn't sicken you. That shouldn't be like, well, it is what it is. That shouldn't be our mentality. We should stand up and say, no, we don't need more violence in this country. If Americans weren't so obsessive about guns and and, and antidepressants and fatty foods, we would live in a better society. But people vote and they don't think logically at all. Shameful. But please, conspiracy theorists, I'm begging you to stop posting nonsense. You just look like a nutcase. And the only people you cater to are gullible people and nutcases as well. I mean, you guys are no different than a cult. I mean, people say, oh, Scientology is bad because, you know, it's a made up religion and, 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 and L. Ron Hubbard made a bunch of money with his books and everything. Okay, well, conspiracy theorists also (laughs) are a cult because they're stupid (laughs) and they get other stupid people to believe in their agenda and they try to like force it on everyone and go, well, this is what happened because this was on the 12th floor. It wasn't the 32nd floor. It was more than two shooters, yada, yada, yada. It's like, really? And how did you think that? And when you try to talk to a conspiracy theorist, it's like, okay, one, they don't go to college. Two, their IQ is like less than 98. (laughs) Three, 
conspiracy theorists, both Democrat and Republican, by the way, I mean, conspiracy theorists are on both sides, but it's just, they're not intelligent people. They're not. And I don't even know how they come up with this. I don't know if they see something on TV and go, oh yeah, I thought the same thing. I thought, it's like, there is, there's so many things happening in Vegas even cops are dumbfounded. They still have no idea why this happened. And then people go, oh, well, well, this is all like it's conspiracy because this happened. It's like everyone, this is what I don't get about people. And this is why I find it insensitive. His brother seemed dumbfounded. He was like, I don't understand this. But here's the thing. If you really think that all these things are fake and a lot of people are lying, then why don't you ask for a lie detector test then? They're 98% accurate. Why don't why don't you conspiracy theorists demand for a lie detector test? Seriously. I mean, have like a criminal attorney or a investigator or something and have them do that right in front of you. And, and and publicize it and, and show that they're not lying. That's what I don't get. You know, and make it live. And then always keep the camera rolling on that lie detector test so you can show that people aren't lying. Look at a seismograph, okay? A seismograph is a type of piece of paper with a needle that basically measures magnitude earthquakes. And that's very accurate. And it shows us the tremors. And this is what I don't get. We have that on the news and people see that and they go, wow, look how much it's still going. And it went from an 8.6 to a 6.8. And then it went back down to 4.3. And it's still at 4.3. And you just keep seeing the needle moving. And that's accurate. So here's my question. Why don't conspiracy theorists actually stop acting like lunatics already and demand for lie detector tests? If people don't really believe law enforcement and they don't believe our government and they don't believe the brother or the girlfriend and they don't believe in any of this stuff, fair enough. Then ask for a lie detector test. I'm serious. Ask for one. But you won't. Because you'll just push an agenda of stupidity to other stupid people. And I'm just tired of it. I'm sick and tired of reading it. I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. It's so insensitive. It really is. Everyone talks about a flag. And 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 we have actual human beings who are gone. And it just it it doesn't make sense. Out of all these tragedies that we've had. What makes you think that the government does this? For what cost? For what purpose? And, and then you say more re insane rhetoric, and you still can't even give me a good answer. And you still sound insane. And it it's just, it bothers me. Like, I have a friend posting this stuff, and it just, you sound insane. Here, here's Here's how a conspiracy theorist thinks. Okay. So, so coyotes, I live in a house and, and, and coyotes come out of nowhere and they killed my dog. And I think the government came out to send those coyotes to go after people's dogs, to put down the dog population. But then, but then the government gets these coyotes and then, and then we take them and we, we call animal control and then Animal control takes these coyotes and then they make them into super coyotes. And then they come out and then they just start eating babies now. And then these super coyotes go after babies and then they go after elderly people. And, and, and then now we have all these coyotes and we have no more dogs and no more cats because the government implemented. See how freaking insane that sounds? See how like barbaric and just psychotic that sounds that's a conspiracy theorist in a nutshell it's all lies 
and it makes you sound crazy. That's how they think. Look at how I just came up with that. I bet you right now, for one split second, you went, what? The government sends super coyotes to go after dogs? That's how they think. It's just maddening to me how people are so gullible and so naive to this whole situation. Here's the thing. It's okay to say, I don't know. It's okay to say, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I don't know what's going on. I want to find out, though. I want the truth. That's all you have to say. Because everyone wants the truth. Everyone wants to understand. Look at John F. Kennedy. No one knows exactly what happened. All we know is Oswald assassinated the president. That's all we know. And until those records be publicly released, they're not going to be released until the next 15, 20 years. Because all those people will be deceased by then. That's why they did it. So... The millennials, you know, who are growing up in the world right now, they're going to know that information. Me? Who knows? I'm almost 30. But then we'll know. Then it will be released by the government, and then we'll know exactly what happened to John F. Kennedy. But until then, it's going to be a long time. And then look at all those conspiracy theorists there. A lot of people said it was the mafia. A lot of people said it was the... There was more than one. A lot of people are saying, you know, there's all these speculations. But until you actually know the information of what happened, you have no idea. Some people said that one of the Secret Service members accidentally shot the president. So, I mean, but you know what I think? I think Oswald didn't like what John F. Kennedy did, and he shot him. But it is bizarre it, I do agree with, because the one thing I do agree with people is that it is bizarre to take John F. Kennedy into a jet and then fly from that jet and they take him out of that hospital room, put him in there and then fly away when they, exa they didn't give the examiner enough time to figure out what happened to him. That's very suspicious. I will give you that. And that's fine. It's fine to be suspicious over things. It's fine. It's fine to think, well, how did he get up that room? And how did the windows? It's fine if you ask questions, but if you don't have the answers, look for them. Find the answers, but don't make up answers. That's what drives me insane, and that's why I get really emotional about it, because people don't give us the, the truth. And everyone deserves to know what happened. Rather it's 9-11, rather it's John F. Kennedy, rather it's Vegas. We all deserve to know what the hell happened. And I swear, if I get demonetized for using that one word, I'm going to be very upset by that. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I, 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 I really can't stand this demonetization on YouTube. It's just shameful. It really is. It's like they don't even care about our expression anymore but anyway that's all i wanted to say and i'm really sick and tired of conspiracy theorists you're not jobs